I love my August Smart Lock, but I hate the fact that I have to change out the batteries. Now, if you buy the lithium batteries that August recommends, it should last three months. Now, this is annoying enough that I decided I want to make a hardware solution. I'm using the second generation August Smart Lock, which uses four AA batteries at 1.5 volts each. The third generation uses two 3 volt specially sized batteries. Regardless, they both add up to 6 volts. The 8 volts you see on this benchtop power supply is the input voltage. It's still outputting 3 volts. The maximum power draw was 0.2 amps. Here's the parts you're going to need for this project. First, a DC to DC step down voltage adapter. You can find one on Amazon for less than $10. Also, a power adapter at least 3 volts and 1 amp. Now, if you get exactly 3 volts and 1 amps, you technically don't need the step down voltage adapter, but typically you're going to find something like this, which is 12 volts. Multimeter, soldering iron, flux and solder, precision tool bits at 0, 0, 0 and 1 Phillips sizes, drill and drill bit, eighth of an inch, wood or plastic, something to fill the battery slot, and wire, 14 to 18 gauge. The first step is to remove the back cover, which is held down by four screws, one of which is hidden behind the sticker. Then you're going to reveal the gears inside. I recommend at this point to take a photo so you know the arrangement. You're also going to have to remove some wires. Make sure you take a photo so you remember what the orientation is. I have here two holes, one right there, another one right there, and that's where the wires are gonna go from inside and then right here in the cover I've also placed a hole right there because it needs to come out somewhere and here is the slot in which the wire will come out it just clears the bracket the connections is going to be the outside positive and then the inside for the negative so that's what I have here. It's an L shape. It's going to hook into the inside negative and then the copper is going to touch the outside positive just like this. Because I'm using the second generation, there's two batteries per slot. So I have to take note of the inner and outer context. In the third generation, there's only one battery per slot. So this is not a concern. Then I strip the two wires, positive and negative glued on a copper strip on both ends of the filler and then soldered on the wires. Okay, at this point I have installed my two battery replacements with the positive and negative leads soldered onto the copper plates. And here are the four wires that are coming out. And they're gonna be going through this channel so that there's space for it to mount to the door. Uh, what I need to do is I need to step down this voltage. So I have a power supply that's giving about 7.6 volts. I need to step it down to three volts of which both of these are going to feed to those independent channels. Remember, it's two AA batteries. Each battery is 1.5 volts, which means that I need a total of three volts for both sides. Okay, I have my step down voltage converter here. This is going to be my power supply and you see it's 7.6 volts and it's going in and it's coming out to the lock. So I have it plugged in right now and I need to just double check the output voltage. I want three volts. So the input voltage right now should be okay so 7.95 let's see what the output output voltage is 6.85 so what i need to do is i need to turn this potentiometer right here so that i can adjust the voltage three volts like this input is 7.96 great here's a diagram to show you the wiring for the second generation august smart lock on the upper outer leads, you want to connect those two wires to the positive end of the voltage adapter and the inner lower leads, 
you want to connect to the negative part of the voltage adapter. The voltage adapter should be set at 3 volts. For the third generation, you don't have this dual battery in a slot issue, so you just have to connect to the upper and the lower. Still set it at 3 volts. This is how I laid out my final wiring, going to the hinge where there's the least amount of movement, and then going up the wall to an outlet. And now, the moment of truth. Thank you.